Ancient Egyptian houses would have had very little furniture. Most people would have sat on the floor, perhaps on mats or cushions. If they sat on furniture, it would have been on low stools. We have examples of these that have survived very often found in ancient Egyptian tombs. Of course, Pharaoh would have had the grandest of stools, ebony and inlaid with ivory, both imported commodities. We also have representations of furnitures in the furniture in the art. The earliest examples show that stools and chairs had their legs carved in imitation of bull's legs. We see in the art how very low the chairs were. The woman here has to sit with her knees right up. And certainly, when we look at the ancient Egyptian chairs to have survived, we see that indeed they're very low to the ground, much lower than our modern equivalents. The examples we see here are particularly representative of women's chairs. This lady's name was Hat Nefer. The legs of her chair are carved in the form of lion's legs. We see the same when we look at this bed. Lion's legs on the bed. Ancient Egyptian beds were always single. Often they were webbed with cord or woven leather. They had a footboard. When we see guests seated on higher chairs off the ground, they are clearly the most esteemed guests. The chairs here painted black. They must be made of ebony. Certainly only the very wealthy would have been able to uh, use such imported timbers. Wood was rare in Egypt. Cedar wood was imported from Lebanon and ebony from Sudan. Pharaoh would have had a grander chair still with inlaid panels, gilded panels here and inlaid ivory. This chair would have belonged to Tutankhamun when he was a young boy. It's a very small chair. On the whole, furniture would in fact have mostly been of reeds and wicker. We have a table here surviving from ancient Egypt, still with ancient loaves of bread on it, over 3,000 years old. Chests and baskets were used for storing all sorts of things, bedding, clothing, vessels, toilet and cosmetic equipment, jewelry and tools, you name it, it would have been stored in baskets and chests. The most elaborate, elaborate examples of chests and boxes were made from a wide range of material. This one is particularly fine. It was found in the tomb of Tutankhamun and is elaborately decorated. The ancient Egyptians wished for an afterlife and so they were buried with all manner of objects of daily use, including furniture and on the wall of the tomb of Ramos on the West Bank in Luxor, we see offering bearers arriving at the tomb with a bed and headrest, with chests and a chair.